Welcome in everyone. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm Franco Javier M and today is Wednesday, November 2nd. It is 1 p.m. my time, 6 p.m. over in the UK and it is time for the FIFA 23 6 p.m. content. Um, let me jump into Ultimate Team. I jumped out just to make sure, just to check to see if we have any kind of new loading screen uh, popping up. It doesn't look like it. I don't know if we're getting a new promo this week. Uh, this Friday, I really don't know. I mean, it says these cards are here for another day and 22 hours. So I heard rumors about uh, a promo. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to leak anything if they were true. Um, but I did hear rumors about them. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's 6 p.m. content. Let's go to the promo packs. Um, let's see if we have anything in here. I don't think we will. Um, promo packs, no, it's the same thing. 25K, 35K, 45K, and 100K. Um, nothing else in the items. I do have a preview pack, so you know what? I think going forward, we'll just open my preview packs here on 6 p.m. content. Uh, we didn't get anything out of there. Uh, who was that? That was Haller. Okay, cool. Is there anything actually in here? No. It's crazy because last night I did a preview pack and I got Varan in it and I... Um, and I sold them for 10k, so that was really nice. Let's go check out objectives. Okay, so in objectives, today's Wednesday, we get a new Silver Stars. We get Mama Balde. Nice. He is in the... He's in the French League. Okay, because I didn't recognize that uh, that badge. So very cool. He's high-low work rates. Three-star, three-star. He's right-footed. He's 5'9". Um, that's pretty tall, I think. No, 5'9 is actually pretty short. His, uh, his stats here are 93 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. He's got 85 shot power, 77 finishing, aggressions 87, 83 strength, 85 stamina, 82 balance, 86 agility. I mean, for a silver star, I think I've seen better, but it is a silver star, which I will grind because I love playing in the silver lounge a lot. Um, here we have Hudson Adoy. Here's available for a couple more days. I think like two days. The milestones. Ooh, the Turkish League. Let's go. Okay, Mali. Um, Mali is four star, four star. He's 83 overall rated. He's a center attacking mid. He only can play in that position, according to here. But I think most of these objective cards are always buggy with their alternate positions so he probably can play somewhere else uh he's got 86 acceleration 85 attacking positioning 98 penalties 82 volleys 86 curve 86 shot pa uh short passing 82 crossing 84 vi vision balances a 90 85 ball control 86 dribbling 83 composure 86 stamina this kind of this card you know for a turkish league player is not that bad Playmaker and technical dribbler. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, is this through? This one's through squad battles. Oh, and you get a Bruno Perez card there. Wow, he looks pretty good. I'll read the face stats here. 89 pace for him. 70 shooting, 76 passing, 82 dribbling, 80 defensive, and 82 physicality. That's a really cool card. Very cool. And for this, you just need to assist four goals using the Turkish League players in your squad in, in, um, in rivals or in squad battles. The next one scored 10 goals um, from the Super League and you get a gold pack back and then this one played 20 matches and you get a small gold players pack back with at least seven players from the Turkish League. And the final one is win eight matches in squad battles or rivals and you get you need to have at least seven players from the Turkish League in the squad and you actually get a Barashi, a Barachi center back card also uh, rated 8 through 83 and his, fats, his face stats say 77 pace, 46 shooting, 72 passing, 80 dribbling, 86 defense, and 82 physicality. That's that's pretty decent for an 83 rated player. That's actually pretty decent. And you can link him up to Chiesa if you did his SBC. You can link him up to Insigne if you did his SBC. Um, I guess if you have any other Italians, you can link him up, um, right? If you got that Nico Barella in form. Um, it's, not, it's not that bad, to be honest. It's not that bad. It's not, it's not a bad 83 rated uh, center back. And then on to the next one. This one's done through managerial masterpiece. You have 78 days and 23 hours to complete him. Two players pack for winning seven matches using a full Turkish league player. 75 plus rated player pack for scoring 20 goals with super league players. Goal pack with uh, for assisting 10 goals using super league players. Small goal players pack for assisting with a cross using Super League players in three separate matches 
of manage your own masterpiece and whoops and then finally balanced player objective here you get two rare gold players back um and you need to score an assist using super league players in four separate matches and the overall reward is a more here he's a right winger he's got three uh four star three star medium low work rates left footed his pace is off the charts 97 acceleration 90 sprint speed he's got finishing of 79 82 shot power long shots is an 84 volleys is an 84 uh, 84 as well composure 81 dribbling stats are 89 84 ball control balance is 97 agility is 96 wow okay stamina is an 83 curve is an 88 this card looks pretty much decent he's got flare and technical dribbler traits you know what i think i'm gonna try to complete him very soon and i might use him i don't know i'm i'm getting bored of using my once to watch sterling so and and he just doesn't shoot for me he doesn't score i don't know what it is it's probably more of me than sterling that the, uh, the ones to watch sterling but he just doesn't score for me maybe i give this guy a try he doesn't really have the best shooting stats anyways but he looks like he could be a fun card to be honest all right checking through here is there anything else silver cup is still there for another 13 days nothing let's check the very bottom i remember last year they put something here at the very bottom we didn't even see it um no 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 nothing in foundations and then finally events do we get an event probably not because there's only a couple more days left on the uh season season one right we only have a couple days we have about seven days and 12 hours left here so uh, let's check out the spcs okay we'll go to the live time we have ross barkley oh icardi icardi's in the turkish league huh okay i did i totally forgot about that icardi at a position player he's got four star four star medium medium work rates he's 511 he could play left mid and he can al also play the center attacking mid roll okay accelerations at 87 87 sprint speed he's got 93 attacking positioning his overall shooting stats are 85 85 volleys his finishing's an 86 shot power is an 88 oh man i wish this was a right wing card to be honest i really do wish this was a right wing card man oh he would replace my once to watch sterling to be <laughs> really because I was just saying that he's, he doesn't shoot and this guy has better shooting stats. Anyways, his passing looks pretty good. Vision 83, 81 curving, uh, 87 passing, or I'm sorry, short passing, 90 composure, 85 dribbling, 87 ball control, 88 reactions, 85 balance, 84 agility, and then jumping's at 92. Wow. 83 stamina and 85 strength. He gets power and outside the foot shot trait. This card looks really fun. Four star, four star as well, and the right foot. Uh, he's preferred right foot. Oof, this one's tough, man. I wish this was a right winger, to be honest. So to complete him, you need one Argentinian in the squad. You need 85 and higher overall players, a minimum two. Overall ratings at 84, and the number of players in the squad is 11. You have. <laughs> oh, not again, EA. Not again. You have 78 days to complete him. Oh my gosh. Once again, EA screws up. So it looks like I'm going to be completing him because we have <laughs> 78 days to complete him. All right, next. What do we have next on the list? 82 player pick. I'll be doing that tonight. If you want to come through, twitch.tv slash FrancoHaVRM. We have FGS challenge four this is not new so let's look at it clubs minimum two leagues maximum three players from the same country maximum five rare players minimum five player quality silver and then um total chemistry is minimum 24 and the quality was minimum silver players so what is the reward i didn't even see the reward rare gold pack untradeable okay all right ea not uh, entirely bad but okay all right, so it is Wednesday, so we do have a new team of the week. Team of the week seven here, or the starting 11. We have Ocean Man. I kind of knew he would get one because I think he got a hat trick over the weekend or something like that. Um, but Ocean Man looks cool. 85 overall, 92 pace, 85 shooting, 68 uh, passing, 80 dribbling, 42 def defensive, and 83 physicality. Uh, Mane looks amazing as well. Does, does he have a once to watch? I don't remember if he does, but if he does, and yo he, he, he got upgraded pretty much he got upgraded he's got 91 pace 85 shooting 82 passing 89 dribbling 45 defensives and 70 physicality looks like a very cool left mid card but he could also play where can he play he cannot play anywhere else oh no he can 
It says it under his card. He can play center forward or left mid. Uh, or left wing, I'm sorry. Oshaman can only play striker and center forward. Okay. Um, we got Wilson here. He looks pretty decent for a Prem striker. Uh, Carlos Vela there for the MLS boys. Dalit again getting another uh, team of the week, really. He must have had a good performance then. Um, the Bentacore looks pretty good as a center defensive mid role. More than anything, he can only play center mid. But he looks good. He's got 4 star, 5 star. Holy moly. Medium, medium work rates. So maybe he's more of a box to box. Yo, if you pair him up with Valverde. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a good card, to be honest. He looks pretty good. Devry as a center back doesn't look the best. I think the uh, Turk was it the Turkish player. I think it was the Turkish player center back objective card. He looks better than this Devry, to be honest. Alex Moreno. Wow, Alex Moreno, huh? 91 pace, 71 shooting, 77 passing, 79 dribbling, 79 defense, and 73 physicality. I think a lot of people use this gold card. Um, he could play left wing back. I think a lot of people use this gold card at the start of the FIFA and. His goal card was pretty good. This inform looks all right, to be honest. I don't know. I wouldn't mind packing him and I would try him out. Kobo is the goalkeeper here. And then we got the reserves slash bench. No one really stands out. Maybe Vlasic stands out a little bit. Um, Yet a center back, 70 pace. Melier goalkeeper. That's dope. I wouldn't mind using him, to be honest. Um... Yeah, no one else really stands out here. I mean, Openda, Openda stands out a little bit because he's got that 95 pace and 80 shooting. Um, and he's but he's three star, three star. Mm, yeah, it doesn't nothing nothing here stands out the most. Bashuai, maybe I don't know. Four star, four star on bats. If you can make him lengthy, um, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, I totally skipped over Taglafico here. Taglafico looks sick as a left back. He could also play left. Uh, well, he's 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 uh, positioned as left wing back here, but it, he could also switch to an LB. He's got three star, two star. His his uh, his overall stats look pretty good. 83 pace, uh, 60 shooting, 76 passing, 79 dribbling, 83 defensive at 83 physicality. I mean, honestly, I think everyone's just gonna be happy packing a Mane. That's probably the ones that we want for red picks as well. I w I personally wouldn't mind a Dalit. I would love to use a new right back. Um, I wouldn't mind maybe a Taglafico. Yeah, I wouldn't mind him. Oshiman would be kind of cool. Batshuayi would be interesting as well. Melier would be kind of fun to use as a goalkeeper. Wouldn't mind using him. And everyone else is, I mean, eh, maybe Bentacor. Maybe Bentacor just a bit because of the four star, five star. Um, but yeah, no one really stands out for me. To be honest, kind of a meh team of the week. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, there you go, YouTube. That's the end of this content video for November 2nd, Wednesday. Kind of like a meh content um, today. And even yesterday was a bit meh. Um, that Icardi card does look pretty fun. I probably will uh, try to complete him and see if I can get him into the squad. I'll be live later tonight. Twitch.tv slash Franco Javier M. 5 p.m. Central Time is what time I will be going live. I will be playing Division Rivals. I'm in currently Division 2, trying to make my way into Elite Division. Um, what else will we do? We will probably qualify for Foot Champs. We'll try out a new team, maybe try out one of these new Team of the Weeks um, because I like changing the squad around. And we'll open packs. I'll try to get some of these packs uh, crafted here pretty soon so I can have them ready for tonight. Once again, twitch.tv slash FrankoHaVRM. 5 p.m. Central Time. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, please sub to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.